Hi friends, family, and folks, this is Bridget Earl. Do you guys know that fake foods were made in 1920? Do you guys know why fake foods were made in 1920? Do you know how kids' toys came along to be fake kids' toys like this for fake kitchenettes? But here's a cool little fact you guys didn't know. In 1920, it started out made by a Japanese maker. And what they started out for the fake foods were for displays used in stores using restaurants to show you what they had. Then one person said, wouldn't that be neat to have that at home for your kids to play with? So wazoo, there you go. Fake foods came along. So that's a fun fact for y'all to know that came from 1920s Japanese. And this is the fruit section. I have a banana, a lemon, two oranges, an apple and an apple, a pear, grapes, two watermelons, and a bunch of slices of pineapple. Then I have scrambled eggs, eggs, and then an Easter egg like you would die. Then I have the sweet section with the donuts, the ice cream, the chocolate, the butterscotch, the biscuits. Then I have the protein section with walnuts. Then I have your starches with the pizza and then cheese. Then I have your meat section. And you wouldn't believe what kind of things you could find online. And I do have more stuff coming in the mail. I have fake shrimp to go with this. Not only does your kids play with this, you can also use it for props like I do. You can set it up and put it in different little areas and you can draw or use it for photo um, things like photo pictures. So that's the vegetable section. We have carrots, we have onions, scallions, potatoes, pumpkins, squash, cabbage, tomatoes, peas. We have the Mexican peppers, we have corn, we have eggplant, we have asparagus, lettuce. We have two different type of peas, snap peas, and then we have tomatoes. And come over here, we have spaghetti with the spaghetti sauce. Then we have the bread and starch area over here that have popcorn, buns, waffles, French toast, bagels, baguettes, French baguettes, croissants, crackers, pretzels, crackers with carbier. And then come over here, we have the chip and potato section. And you can use any type of toys you can find online. They're also called display props or samplers. So I hope you enjoyed the little fun facts on this. And all of the information that I found will be under the description of this video. So I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.